It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Welcome to The Sam LaSant Show, folks. The uh, Mayor's Report. I'm here at uh, Mayor Dave's Clues office in Pottsville. Uh, another Mayor's Report. The great things are happening in Pottsville. But before the, we go to that, uh, the theme of our show is going to be accountability. You know, it's interesting, my friends, that... When we uh, talk about elections and we talk about uh, who we're putting in office, some people say, eh, you know, Sam, it doesn't make any difference. Some people are upset about the election, some, you know, with the mail-ins and the, the problems we're having. Uh, the fact of the matter is, my friends, it is important because when you go to the supermarket and you see what you're paying for right now, uh, all of a sudden it becomes a concern and then you find out that your utility bills are going through the roof and then you find out that you it's very difficult I have people telling me they can't sleep at night because they can't pay their bills what happens well accountability we put people in office that are not accountable we just let them go we don't have call them and say look this is what you you, you promised us I'll give you an example you remember Governor Rendell, when the casinos came on, what was the big thing? Eliminating the property taxes, school taxes. We're going to eliminate them. How many years ago was that? And how many politicians have been telling us, time after time, we're going to get rid of your taxes, the school taxes? And it never happens. But yet, we keep putting them in. How about the congressmen, the U.S. congressmen and senators that are in office today? that did nothing or said nothing when all these terrible things were happening in the country with inflation, accountability. Now, what's the story about today? Well, Mayor Dave Clue ran for office a year ago, and he has to be accountable for what's happening in Pottsville. David, you know, it's interesting because, you know, you've been around a long time. And I don't know if you recall when uh, Governor Randall, you know, the casino started, the big thing was we're going to eliminate the school taxes or property taxes. Uh, and it never happened. And we have representatives in the last number of years who have promised this. People on fixed incomes are really struggling. You know that. You, you, you witness that all the time. But yet there's no accountability. So for the likes of me, I don't understand that. Now I'm asking you, as a mayor, you know, you ran and you said you were going to do certain things. So now we want to hold you accountable. Did you do them? I, I think I've accomplished quite a bit in a one-year time, uh, you know, sitting in the mayor's chair. Uh, it, it's a very positive time right now in Pottsville. Uh, you know, we've, we've started to run. I shouldn't say we've started. We're running it like a business. And just like, you know, people at home with budgets, we have one here in the city, and we have to look at it, you know, for from a what makes sense for our citizens. What do we have to spend? We certainly don't want to burden them right now. Uh, we got a lot accomplished this past year, and we, you know, we were able to tell our citizens for 2023 there's not going to be a tax increase, <clears throat> even though the city, just like all us, you know, homeowners and residents in town, have seen incredible price increases and in things. And, and I'm, I'm kind of grateful that most of our citizens have realized that, you know, I still get the, you know, the pothole calls and, you know, this needs to be fixed. And most of them really do understand that, you know, what, what two, $200,000 did last year doesn't do that, you know, in the past year and probably not this year either because of the rates of inflation and, and cost of goods. So, um, you know, I, I think we've done a great job with all we've accomplished in this past year here in Pottsville. Uh, I, I'm proud to be sitting in the mayor's chair and, and have a really great team here in City Hall that understands I'm a business guy, like things run that way, and uh, you know we've we've made a lot of progress. It, it always fascinates me, and I've been um, telling Trooper Petrosky the other day it was on my show. I, probably have done about over close to 6,000 shows. And I've interviewed a lot of people, talked to a lot of nice people, talked to a lot of phonies, you know, they came on and tried to 
lie to my viewers, uh, particularly when they ran for office. And when you start talking about these things, Dave, you know, then all of a sudden they say, well, you're a Republican, you're a Democrat. I don't care what you are, okay? It's the fact that, you know, you're accountable to the citizens. Now, all of us are paying a severe price. We're paying a terrible price. My God, we, when, when you're looking at, you know, the, the terrible things that are happening in this country, all right, they're facts, okay? I'm, I can't make these things up, you know. Uh, how do you address those concerns? You know, uh, you know, we're all politicians to a degree, you know. Uh, but how do you, you know, how do you get along with our state representatives, or state senators? Because it's, it's, it, we all have to work together somehow. You know, I, I've been fortunate uh, again in that in that department uh, on the state representative side, and, and uh, you know, even our representatives that go to Washington uh, <clears throat> have listened to me. I mean, uh, you know, I'm. I'm the new guy, and I'm the guy with the ponytail on top of it. Uh, but but they you know they've seen what's happening in Pottsville. I think more and more people are, even the people here. And, and I just said this the other day in our council meeting. You know, we are the largest city in Schuylkill County, and right now, the rest of the county is watching what's going on in Pottsville. Yes. You know, we've got Alvernia coming in. We've had eight new businesses, at least eight new businesses in the past year open in downtown Pottsville. Uh, you know, we've got progress on, on working on second floor market rate apartments, not, not subsidized housing, not Section 8, market rate. <clears throat> we have investors want to come in and do that stuff because they're seeing what's happening here in Pottsville. You know, when you're born and raised in a town, sometimes you kind of forget you know, yeah, I'm from Pottsville. Yeah. Now, I'm from Pottsville, the biggest city in Schuylkill County, yeah. and we have a great group of administrators and council people and city workers, police and fire in, in town that other towns are watching. Yeah. And, you know, quite honestly, call us uh, for help and assistance and, and, you know, giving them some directions. Mm -hmm. When you start to take that kind of ownership, things start to happen. Yes. And when, you know, when people see it and you let them know, you know, <clears throat> they they have a new attitude about their town, and that's what's happening right here in Pottsville. Well, you know what you brought to the to City Hall, uh, you, you brought business experience. You know, you, because you you had a business for many many years, and you know decisions have to be made, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And, and and I think that's very important. Okay, uh, with all due respect to people who've been in politics all their life, we have some. Some of our own legislators have been there many, many years and doing a fine job. The problem is they can't get the majorities to do what, what, what they like to do, okay? And then that's where the problem is. Um, the future in terms of uh, Pottsville, your, your thoughts on that? You know, I, I think right now there, there's an energy, you know, we, we often talk about Pottsville and, and Schuylkill County as a whole that maybe we're a, a, a couple of years behind where others have progressed. And in this case, it seems to be great because what's happening in other places isn't as, as upward moving as it is here right now. So it's kind of nice that we're in that position where things yeah. are progressing forward, yeah. where our neighbors are looking for ways to. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's you know a, a real happening time. You said something earlier, Sam, I wanted to go back to real quick. You said about, you know, they, they, we get people in office and you know they 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 forget you know what they promised or or in some cases may have blatantly lied about it you know i've worked retail all my life and i've worked for a lot of great people and, and one of the things that has always stuck in my mind when back years ago when i was selling don't lie you can't remember them all that's right and that's very true yes, yes. uh learned that very on in, <laughs> early on in my sales career yes. and have carried it with me you know through my business, yeah. through how I like to do things And you know in what? Uh, sometimes people don't like honesty. See, sometimes people uh, don't want you to be honest. They want you to lie to them. Okay, and, and what do I say? What I, what I mean by that is that when I interview these politicians that are running, uh, I, I happen to think Congressman Dan Muser is one of the finest congressmen we had. I know Dan going back many, many years, and he's going to be on my show in the next... But I've never asked Dan anything that he's ever lied about, 
Okay, he never asked him to come on, and he, he never, you know, found excuses like Congressman Cartwright finds excuses all the time, uh, can't come on the show, uh, he's busy, or he doesn't want to pay the, for the expenses, etc., which is, in my opinion, complete nonsense. However, that's okay. So when you, when you when I find the things like this with these politicians that are, you know, they like to play the games, fit in where they can, talk to the right things, it doesn't help the constituents out. No, it really doesn't. I mean, you know, we, we ran into it a lot this past year. You know, streets are always a, a big concern and keeping them paved and up, updated. And, and this year, uh, we, I got, I can't tell you how many calls because maybe we did two thirds or half of a block, the worst part of it. But, you know, when, when they'd call and ask A, Y, and B, not be happy about it, the only thing I could be is honest and say, listen, we have X dollars to spend, and yours isn't the only street. So for now, we're doing the worst parts to fit our budget. So next year, when January comes, you're going, oh, my goodness, they raised our tax rates again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we're trying to dress it that way. That's, that's kind of common business yeah. sense. Talking about revitalization, coming up next, we have uh, Clarissa Christ. And she's um, uh, one of the winners, right, from the launch possible, from, right? She's one of the winners so from the So you talk about possible. revitalization. Here brings bring in a lot of excitement to the town. Oh, yeah, I, I got to tell you, you know, it, was, it was a great program. You know, we got three new businesses from it and some others that are probably going to follow out of it. But uh, <clears throat> her business and what she does with her, with her other interest has been – a real boom, and, and I can understand because I'm kind of a specialist store in my retail world. Yeah, yeah. And she definitely is. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, when I first met her, I thought, you've got a passion and excitement. You're going to do very, very well. And it becomes contagious, too. It is. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break. We're talking to Mayor Dave Clues. My friends, uh, my email is sam at sspTV.com. If you, uh, uh, what I said at the beginning is my opinion, uh, based on the many years that I've been around interviewing people. But however, I'm always willing to learn. If you think I've said something that you'd like to um, add or dispute, etc., please email me. I, I would love to hear from you. I've been asking the wacko radical liberals to come on my show many, many years, but those radicals don't want to come on my show. The people who are killing babies, Planned Parenthood, they don't want to come on my show. I don't know why. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the San Luis Sancho, folks. The Mayor's Report. We're here at uh, Pottsville, the Mayor's Office. Mayor Dave Clues and a lot of great things happening here. Once again, I want to thank the standard speaker and the Republican Herald for our media partners. Uh, if you're not subscribing to this papers, I highly advise you do. Now, uh, interesting things as, as the mayor is talking about revitalization. Clarissa Christ, uh, this is interesting. We're ta you're, you know, you're, you're, your company, your store is called Rage Parade. Rage Parade. Uh, it's a skate shop and a clothing store. And I'm giving you the address because you're going to want to go there, the 19, uh, 19 South Center Street. Now, tell me, before we get into what you do there, and you get me on skates, and if I <laughs> fall, you're in trouble. Um, tell me about Launch Pottsville. You were one of the winners. Uh, what, how did you do to apply? What did you do to apply that? Um, so I actually have a backstory to it. Okay. Um, so I started the Schuylkill County Scream Queens, which is our local roller derby team. And one night after practice, we went out to a local um, restaurant, and we were eating, having, you know, a drink or two. And some guy comes over and he asks us who we are, what we are, and we say, you know, we're a derby team. And he continues to tell me, well, he's a longboarder. And I said to this person, I said, man, if I could, I would have a shop in downtown, a skate shop in downtown Pottsville. And he told me that there's this competition going on called Launch Pottsville, and I should check it out. And I did, and what it was, it was a, uh, a contest open to anybody that wanted to apply. You had to submit a video application, and if, you're, if you won, you can ask you know, for X amount of money. I believe it was from a grant that Pottsville had, had, had received. And um, it was almost a year-long contest, and through the year there was different stages, and I think when I started there was 15 applicants, and at the end there was two winners, my business and also uh, the axe-throwing axe place that's about to open in downtown Pottsville. 
the now, chopping block. How did you come up with how did you come up with this? I mean, you know, was it because you're a roller derby and you wanted to stay in the skates? And I mean, oh, absolutely, yeah. I have been playing roller derby since 2013, and there are no local skate shops anymore. It's just it, that's right. It's, yeah, especially in this in this county, and I think the closest one is before I opened up was in Pottstown mm -hmm. and they they just opened they're very brand new but prior we were going down to Maryland or Virginia to obtain skate equipment because you can't buy it online it's better to try on in store as uh, Mayor Dave was saying your specialty store sometimes you need to go and yeah. you know try things on and whatnot yeah. so we're just you know getting tired of traveling and where we're at where we're located there's 22 roller derby teams within a 2.5 hour radius that are all traveling to great distances for a skate shop. Did you like roller derby? I love roller derby. Do you? Yes. Yeah, it gets a little uh, rough. Rough, yeah. Yes. You yeah. don't mind that, huh? No, it's yeah. a full contact sport. Wow. Yeah. Of course, you were very gentle, I'm assuming. Right? Absolutely. Of course, I know that. Now, let me ask you this. All right, when you're talking about, you know, the, you said you had to submit videos. Yes. So what kind of videos did you submit? Um, well, the initial application video, it was just kind of what your vision was and uh, kind of what you would hope to get out of it. Now, they had different stipulations, like they wanted what would increase foot traffic in downtown Pottsville. How would, how would you go about that and things like that, trying to just what bring more business. I, I explained about the derby teams, how we have 21, 22 roller derby teams Fantastic. within a two-point yes. hour yeah. radius. Yeah. And it's kind of cool now being on the other side, seeing that vision and everything that I've, I've put in during the competition, saying about they would come to the county, they would go afterwards somewhere local to eat, and in some cases, places even to stay. It's really, really awesome to see it actually happening. Yeah. Did you show any of the video of you roller derby? I don't believe I did. Okay, all right. So in other words, that was basically, which is very true, you know, that's a, a key point there. You know, you're bringing people down there. All right. Um, before we get into, you know, what's at your shop, founder of the Schuylkill Screaming Queens. Now, that's interesting. These names are like <laughs> Rage Parade. And Screaming Queens. Tell me about that. Do you go around town screaming all over the place? Or what? <laughs> you got it. So we're the Schuylkill County Scream Queens. I started in 2018 with, you know, just trying to bring roller derby to Schuylkill County. I'm not originally from Schuylkill County. I'm from, uh, I, I moved here from Lancaster. And I was commuting, you know, an hour and a half to get to practice. And after a while, you know, I, was like, I, I, I wonder if I would just try to start something here in Schuylkill County, if it would be successful. And it was uh, very much successful, where we have 38 skaters right now, 11 non-skating officials, and seven referees. So our league is over 50 persons strong and growing. Wow. So you moved from where? I've moved here from Lititz, PA. Okay, nice area. Beautiful. How do you like where you're living in Schuylkill County? I love Schuylkill County. It's the favorite, my most favorite place I've ever lived. It's very charming, and I love that, you know, I, I don't have a background in, you know, I don't have a college degree behind me or or whatever, but everyone's so willing to help me and to educate me, and there's so many opportunities here, and I just, I, I love you, it. You I like it that much despite the mayor? The mayor we have? <laughs> I, do, I do. Wow, it's amazing. It's, I, I can't understand Oh, that. he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he certainly is. Um, but you, now, you, your rage parade, if, um, where do you go skating now? The Roller Roost Sports Arena. Where is it at? It's uptown, and I believe it's called Yorkville, um, 94 Westward Road. It's in town? Yeah. Yep, okay, on the so other there's side a, of a, a skating rink here. Yes, and it's absolutely beautiful that there's new new owners took ownership about I think three years ago now, and they have renovated it and made it even better than ever. Do you go skating a lot? All the time. I practice ten hours a week, plus I'm on skates pretty much all day at the shop. All right. So um, and now uh, I'm a baby, big baby. Okay. Um, I guess there's no age limits to skating, right? No, and, it's, and even in roller derby, we have uh, women that are 18, and we have women that are 60. Yeah. Well, I'm 47, so I, I fall right in the middle. Of, don't be laughing, Dave. Okay, you see how he's laughing at me? About the, but how, how, do, you, do you teach people to skate? Absolutely. Most people that, that join roller derby never even skated a day in their life. Is that right? Yeah. 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 And we train. It every seems night. to be a lot of fun. It's it's a great sport. Yeah. It's a great sport. It's more than the sport. I mean, you have the competition and the competitive side and everything like that. But it's also, I have a huge support system now. We feel good. we're very tight knit, and it's almost like having a second family. It's a good sport. It's yeah. a wonder. It's so awesome. So, if you're looking, my friends, to start off, they have the skates. They have, you have the clothing there too, right? Yep. Yep. I, sc I sell uh, skating equipment, protective equipment, skateboards. I'm hoping to soon break into inlines and longboards, as well as alternative clothing. Right. Now, do you have a website? 
Not yet. Okay, but it's Rage Parade, and it's 19 South Center Street. What's the phone number? 640-4092. Uh -huh. 640-4092. It's 570-640-4092. It's a great family fun. Great Absolutely. family fun. Yes. Bring the family out and enjoy yourself. Well, Clarissa, I wish you the best. Thank you. It's so nice for you to come on the show. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having me. Uh, I, I like to have people like you on the show because Dave brings the show down. I mean, it's very <laughs> different. Uh, anyway, my friends, if you're interested in doing something, uh, you know, fun, that sounds to be the thing. Go skating. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the San Sancho, folks. We're here at the uh, mayor's office in Pottsville. I want to thank uh, some of our sponsors that are making all these shows possible. Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant, uh, Carmela's uh, Roma Delight, 12 Volt Dave, uh, Bob Weaver, always been there to support anything that we're doing in the greater Schuylkill area. i um, like to thank uh, uh, Ambrose Hearing um, for supporting us, Attorney Christine Holman, um, and of course the Lehigh Valley Health Network and many more. And of course, you know, uh, if you are not subscribing to the Standard Speaker and Republican Herald, I highly suggest you do. There's a lot of great articles there, particularly local nature. Uh, interesting hearing about Clarissa. She sounds excited about what she's doing. But you have a project coming up, the Spirit of the Holloway Holidays Lighting Campaign. This is interesting. Yes, yeah, Sam, you know, uh, We've always had some really great Christmas decorations in the city of Pottsville. I remember it growing up very well. and uh, That's ancient, though. That's a long time ago. Yeah, almost candle power when you were there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we've got all new lights in our, in our town square, a great new big Christmas tree we put up every year, uh, thanks to the people at Hexel who donate that for us. But our lights that are on our main streets are now 25 years old. And uh, our street department has been MacGyvering them together for years. I, I tell people, don't look up at them during the day. Look at them at night when they're lit. lit Otherwise, you can see all the duct tape and glue holding them together. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> my goal is, and in, in early in the first quarter is the best time for us to go and purchase Christmas lights because they're having after-season sales. Uh, my goal is to raise $35,000 towards our Christmas lights in town and being able to maintain them. We've already got a nice jump start on it in that the Postal Business Association has stepped up and committed $10,000 towards the project. Great. So I'm looking to raise another $25,000 for it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be soliciting our business partners, our local businesses, even the community. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty far reaching on social media. Mm -hmm. So very shortly there will be a GoFundMe page up. And, uh, you know, looking forward that next year we have some bright new lights. I mean, you know, two years ago we managed to establish some at our Western Gateway coming in out in Yorkville. Uh, you know, brighten up that end. And now it's just time to take care of the rest of what we have and, and try not to be a burden on our taxpayers by just reaching out. Once again, making the city look great. The phone number, my friends, if you'd like to contribute, is um, it's an easy one. It's 622-1234. Five seven zero six two two one two three four, or mayor at city dot uh, dot pa dot gov uh, for uh, donations. Well, listen, keep up the good work, my friend, and you are accountable, and I I, I like that. Uh, you know, you don't play any games; you just say it the way it is, and and I really appreciate that. Now, my friends, a big thing's happening this year. It's going to be a major event. I'm going to cut off his ponytail. <laughs> and when we do that, we're going to have a special Sam LaSand feature, okay? And we're donating his hair to whomever would like to have it, okay? We may sell some. I mean, it's a good way to raise money. <laughs> yeah. Cut his hair off, sell locks for like five bucks a piece. That said, it may come sooner than what you think. <laughs> Dave, always nice to see you. Always a pleasure, okay. Sam. We'll see you next time. <laughs>